The following video asks us to graph the line y equals 1 third x minus 3. To do this, we're going to use the slope-intercept form of a line, which is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So, our, in this case, the slope is 1 third and the y-intercept is negative 3. So the first thing you always do on these problems is to uh, graph the y-intercept. So we're going to go over to that line uh, that is on the y-axis, and the y-axis is always the up and down arrow, right? You see, you see you've got two arrows on there, one going horizontal and one going uh, up and down. And the up and down is the y-axis. And so we're going to go down negative 3 from the center, and that's going to be our y-intercept. The slope, one-third, is what we deal with next. And the slope is the rise over the run. The rise, in this case, is 1. The run is 3. So we're going to go up 1 in the same time that we go over 3. So you go back to our y-intercept, and we're going to go up 1, and then to the right 3, and make a point. And then we're going to do that again, up 1 to the right 3. And actually, you can go the other, other direction and just do the opposite, down 1 to the left 3, and down 1 to the left 3 if you wanted to keep going. And we draw in our line, and that gives us the graph of y equals 1 third x minus 3. That's what that line represents, is that, that equation. So we're going to do another, problem, another one of these, and we're going to use y equals mx plus b again. This time, the slope is negative 4. And whenever we do have an, an integer, we always do negative 4 over 1, which you'll see in a second. And then our y-intercept is 5. So we're going to, uh, when we do slope, it's always rise over run, and so we need to find a run. Well, anytime you got an integer, you just put it over 1. Okay, so we're first going to graph the y-intercept, which is 5. So we go to the y-axis again, and we make a mark where y, uh, the y value is 5 on the y-axis. Then our slope's negative 4, so our rise is negative 4. So we're going to go down 4, because negative means down. And then you've got to go to the right 1. And then we're going to go down 4 again into the right 1. You've got to go to the right 1, or you're going to mess up. So we can draw a line between those three points, and that represents the graph of the line y equals negative 4x plus 5.